Uh, it, yeah. Yeah, so this meeting is held, being held pursuant to and in compliance with Ordinance 20A16 and Ordinance to ensure the continuity of government during the COVID-19 disaster. The opportunities for the public to access and participate in the electronic meeting are posted on the Alma County website on the Alma County calendar. Participation will include the opportunity for to comment on those matters for which uh, comments from the public will be received. And that's it. Great. Yeah, I wasn't, I don't know if that was on your, when your agenda was posted, if that was part of it now, huh? Well, I didn't make it part of the, the what I wrote up, but I don't. Um... Yeah, I think, oh yeah, because I think that we had used this format. So I'll make sure you get, like, I just pulled it off of the, the big NH, our whole meeting. Okay. Yeah, could you send me like the, that information so I can use that in the future? I will. Okay. Fantastic. Great. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I I just want to apologize also to Carolyn and Nicole. We don't have, you know, a full group here. We've called this meeting, but it's okay, y'all yeah. can go ahead and meet. I'm recording it. Talk away. Okay, we'll talk away. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, Emma. Emma okay. is Emma's taking lead on this meeting. Yep. So um, the first thing we wanted to touch on was the Darden Tau conservation mowing. Is there any, do you have any updates on that, Christine? Well, I'll give you my update. And um, so a couple of weeks ago, I went and I met with uh, Lisa Wittenborn from the Rivanna Conservation Alliance and also with uh, Thomas Johnson from Parks and Rec and also from Rep with Rep. And then we looked at what they had done at the Burley Middle School and where they have this wetland area. And it was really interesting because uh, the Rivanna Conservation Alliance, they have been working for several years now with just this little plot, trying to get, trying to establish these native plants. And it really brought back to me like how much work it is mm. uh, to, to try to care for it and, you know, keep the invasives out, uh, keep the fescue at bay. I mean, it's, it's a little patch. It would be really interesting to go back and look at it later in the summer when things are blooming because it was pretty early when I looked at it. Yeah. And so um, I think the, I've been sort of, has I haven't really pushed forward, but I think that what I've got to do is, I, I haven't been to Darden Tau, but I'm pretty sure that they, the last thing we said Jeremy was going to mow, mow it down to try to knock the fescue down as much as possible. And then he's going to go through and aerate it. And then, so what I need to do is I need to make some decisions about the seed and just mm. order the seed and then throw the seed out and hope for the best. Mm. And just call it a experiment at this point. Mm. But, yeah, but I, I haven't had any other real conversations other than that meeting. and. I also learned that there's the RCA also helped to put in uh, planting over at Monticello High School. They have like they have a courtyard, and I'd like to get over there sometime and just check it out and see how it looks. But apparently, yeah, it looks pretty nice. That's great. Oh, and I was down. I went to the Rivanna River Festival. Over oh, how was it? Really great. Oh, yeah. did you, Mary was there. My, did you ever oh, meet Mary. Mary? You I did? Saw, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, she told yeah. me she went and I was like, darn, I, we were in Asheville, but I would have loved to go. Yeah, it was, um, it was really great. And I, one thing I did not realize is J.W. Townsend and uh, the Rivanna, I don't know what they call it, the canoe company or the rafting company, they all work together to put in a pollinator field. Oh. And it's really lovely, Emma, you would have loved it because they mowed a path through it. So uh -huh. it really invited people to walk through it. 
gorgeous. Yeah, so I, so, so how they do that? They the land is privately owned, so that they were able to. Uh, I think JW. Cal I know, but was it seed? Was it seed? You know, that would be a good question. I should, you know, Lisa didn't talk about that. And I don't know if she actually partnered with them, but you know that I did. Oh, in the meantime, I have talked, spoken to uh, uh, the person at JW Townsend who's responsible for all those uh, pollinator meadows. Uh -huh. and, and we did have a really good discussion, but he says, you know, it's just so hard to establish anything without the use of herbicides. Uh -huh. But he, we did talk a little bit about you know, just trying to use some, uh, throwing out some seeds that can compete. I actually have a mm. list. So mm. I feel like I'm just taking some time, looking at things that he recommended, uh, like blue false indigo. Oh, I have a list someplace, purple top. I have a list of things that I need to look into, common milkweed. So that could really can compete with. Yeah. Uh, the fescue. Yeah, that sounds good. But yeah, I, and I was actually in on a meeting, uh, Jim, Jim from Parks was on it as well. And I was thinking, oh, I wonder if the follow through is needed, follow up is needed to talk to him about the signs. Mm. I bet you haven't heard anything back. Nope. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I mean, what's our goal with that even? I, I would say if, if you're okay, I mean, I could do it or you could do it, but I would, I, I would say go ahead and uh, email Jim, that whole crew and say, you know, it'd be great to have these signs up, uh, especially as the grass gets taller. What do you need anything from me? Right. Okay. <laughs> How's that sound like? like a little I mean, it sounds good. Well, it sounds good, but you know, I just don't know. Like, maybe they have other signs that they want to use, or no. no. Okay. Okay. Well, then. Well, then. Yeah, I'll follow up for sure. Yeah, I think because I you know, if it's just a matter of like them printing them and then we can go put them up, like. Yeah, we can. You could say, you know, be happy to put them up. Uh, but I think that as the grass gets taller, this is definitely the time to. Know the yeah, grass. it is. It is the time when you're starting to notice it. Yeah. Where it's not cut and. Yeah, that's a great idea. I'll make a note of that. Okay. <clears throat> So was that, that was it? Yeah, that's, um, that's Dart and towel. Yeah. So are you, are you hoping to be able to get those seeds in the ground this season or? I, I have to get on it, you know? <laughs> and so that's definitely, it's gotta get, it's gotta jump to the top of my to-do list to yeah. get yeah. the seeds. And well, what I've been noticing like with everything coming up right now is there's a lot of stuff that I've planted from seed and it's taken like three years for it to come up. So yeah, um, it's well, definitely a process, but like it's coming up. It like, I, I just like planted a bunch of wildflowers, native wildflower seeds. I think it was three years ago and it's just coming up in all the grass. There's flowers coming up. Oh really? So, mm -hmm. huh, I didn't, I didn't prepare the ground or anything, but it's, it's taken three years <laughs> you throw it in with the grass when you threw mm -hmm. it out oh. yeah so <laughs> i was very lazy about it but i've noticed that now stuff some stuff is coming up yeah well that's that's all good right yeah yeah it is yeah okay I, yeah go, oh, ahead. go ahead yeah so i gotta that's gotta get to the top of my to-do list because i gotta get those seeds and make it happen yeah okay yeah and just yeah it's gonna be a process right 
Yeah, but it sounds like they that can it can still be seeded in June and still be successful. So uh -huh. okay, great. Yeah. Good girl. Okay, Scottsville Earth Day. Um, I kind of put this on the agenda just so we could fill other people in. Yeah. Who, but the, but there's no one else here. <laughs> but I thought that that was that it was nice to be together and to represent NHC. People were very curious and interested. They love that native plant book, the native plant guide. Um, so I thought that was great. Are they doing the pollinator festival again this year? Do you know? I don't know. Maybe you could ask. I, I haven't yeah. heard anything, but I, I thought that that was great. And mm -hmm. you know, maybe just the place where we were, I ended up, I talked to Josh from the Nature Conservancy and he ended up staying, I don't know how much later you stayed, but he- I think I left when, yeah. when you left. We all left yeah. together, right? Yeah. But he ended up staying until into the evening and he said, you know, that there, there were more people, there was music later, but- um, He was a wonderful person. Yeah. And a wonderful connection to make, like he, you know, that he works with that bank of volunteers that, mm -hmm. you know, we could potentially connect with if yeah. we ever like have a job or, you know, like we were talking about with the Scottsville, if we wanted to do a Scottsville pollinator garden, if we just needed volunteers, we could, yeah, maybe they could do a call out for us for Scottsville. Yeah. That's just great to know that they're around and mm. um, they're, they're doing all that. Yeah, yeah, it's it's nice to make those connections. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the place the placement wasn't quite quite right. And I was talking to Chris, like the music was just being played to us, but it should have been turned so the music was playing to the street, and we were on the street a little more. Yeah. But um, it would be it would be great to go to Ix to have a stand at Ix, just like at some point during the season, like maybe later yeah. in the summer, just well, have it have a stand one weekend. Well, one thing that I have committed to is uh, with the, uh, the master gardeners, I'm going to help, they, they like to do the outreach every other uh, Saturday, June through I think September. So I raised mm -hmm. my hand to be in charge of that. And, um, but the nice thing is that they've just got some really nice material uh, about good stewardship practices. Mm -hmm. So, and then also they also have that information about spotted lanternfly. And so, but yeah, you know what? I'm in, in the process of talking to the market manager about that. So if you can send me the dates that you're like some good Saturdays for you. Yeah. And then I, let's pick a date. Yeah, that would be great. How's that sound? That'd be awesome. I mine would be the like September. It's September. The Saturdays in September. Yeah. Let's do it in September. That sounds great. Okay, awesome. Or like, I could do August, but September would probably be better. Yeah, that sounds great. Yay! Yeah, Perfect. and I was, speaking of September, I was looking at the Instagram post. Uh huh. Uh, and which always look great, you know, did, and then I was looking at, so we have June, right? June is good. Uh, yes, I believe we do have June. I can pull it up too, but and then, go ahead. And so we're, we need July, August and September. And then I saw that, um, that Kim had made a note that maybe we should have something about the spotted lantern fly in there. So maybe the invasive plants should go, or the invasive should go in July. Mm. And then- That'd be a good time for it. <laughs> and then fireflies in August. Yeah, totally. And uh, I forget what was in September. I, I can pull it up, February. May native plants. June is no mo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and I want to send you, there's a really great in the master gardener. They have like, they have two little newsletters and uh -huh. 
they just wrote a really nice no mo may uh just an article about the value oh, of the it was i really love it yeah. yeah i love that yeah so that one's all done and it looks really good um so yeah july so july we're thinking invasives i'm just going to switch it right now that sounds great and august is was fireflies yeah and September pollinators. Pollinators. Oh yeah, that would be good. And you know, I think interesting to think about in, like using that to incorporate talking about like monarch fly uh, flyways, mm. like establishing those monarch flyways. You know, I think it's also like a little known fact that pollinators like they need food into the fall, mm -hmm. you know, like people just, you know, they think about July and the summer flowers, but they don't think so much about making sure they have things in the garden that support pollinators in the fall. So yeah. I think that the timing is, you know, good on that. So Emma, I think it's just you and I on these Instagram posts. So, okay realistically right yeah so, uh do you want to I'll, I'll definitely do the one on the fireflies I, I'll do two of them do you want to do one of those three do you want um yeah I'd be I'd be happy to do pollinators okay you do pollinators I'll do the invasives and the and the fireflies fireflies you know more about more about those things than I do and but remember, like all, you just just put the information out. It doesn't need to be like okay. There doesn't need to be a bow on it. Thank you. I'll, I'll wrap it all up nicely. Yeah, then you wrap it in the bow. But I wonder. So in the December one, I was hoping that Michael would do because it's yeah. Salt. Should, I think he'll do that. Okay, and then um, I wonder if Abigail would like to write one. Yeah. I could ask her. I could eat. I could ask her. Then, then the other two are like trash bears and compost. Yeah, and I mean, I, I, I have, I have some basic information, you know, that I could just, I could just put in there, and then, like, if, um, if you, you can wrap it in a bow, or we could ask, uh, yeah, Abigail to wrap it in a bow. Yeah. You know, in terms of like yeah. taking. Well, well, then let's just focus on July, August, and September. Maybe let's just get the next three months done, and then we can talk about yeah. um, the following ones. Because November we don't really have like a solid one. It was like what to do with leaves, yeah. which we can do, but we could also maybe another idea will come to us too. I like that one because yeah, you know, it's a good. It's a something people don't really think about. Yeah, leaving your leaves in place, which I think is important. Or mulching with your leaves. Yeah, absolutely. I'm about to mulch on my uh, tomato plants with a bunch of leaves I collected in a pile. Really? Awesome. Yeah. That's great. So, um, um, okay. You know, I wanted to know, so did the April Instagram post went out okay and it looked good and- Yep. And, yeah, and, and she, and um, a key, responded and said she'll try to get him out earlier in the month so um that's good yeah. we just have to have them ready okay but, but yeah the, it, it looks good but the may one's ready right it's ready to go and the may and june the may and june okay good mm -hmm. so, hopefully. so so yeah maybe like it would just be nice to have them done through the summer so we can yeah just not have to really think about it they can all be and you'll keep, all be you'll keep an eye on it and just give a key a little nudge if it yeah yeah it yeah i'll notice if they're not if they're not up yeah let's see how many likes it got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven nice <laughs> yay it got 11 likes that's pretty good that's pretty good that's more than their their usual let's pretty much average but 
All right. Well, good. We'll keep it going. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna keep, <laughs> keep it going. going. I did. I did find my Instagram account and open it up, and I, I maybe it was in March or in April, but I'm like, I'm gonna like this. You liked it. You liked April. Okay. Good. All right. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next. Um, oh, the board of supervisors meeting. Attending. Oh yeah. Yeah, my, I have a big problem with that, as it turns out, because I, I'm i doing, uh, I have a literacy volunteer tutor, and I have a conversation group from six to seven on Wednesdays, mm. which is a problem. Yeah. In order to actually speak there, so I don't know how I, how to do that, although I think it's really important because not that many people are, are you know, the, the room's empty. Yeah. I went to, I went to one of the meetings, but I got there late after my class and, uh, you know, for the plastic bag tax, cause I wanted to be there, but they were done by the time I got there. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, but there's the e-comment. Uh, yeah. I, and I saw you did a nice job. Oh, thank you. And you did too. Yeah, you know, yeah. I can get pretty intense with my comments, but <laughs> I feel like I kept it civil. <laughs> yeah, I think it's great. And uh, and do they all, read? Do they read them out? I I don't know, but it is all part of the public record. So right. I think that that's really nice because it's very, um, you know, it's right there in the minutes. I mean, I don't know how many people look at the minutes, but. Um, and I don't know if they read those e comments or not to be perfect. Yeah. But yeah. That was a good way to. Well, my, my thing about the Board of Supervisors meetings is like, I feel like what's most important is just being aware of when there's topics coming up that have to do with the biodiversity of the county, you know, and the natural spaces in the county and that impact that. And, um, because I don't like, I'm not like reading always what they're going to be talking about. So maybe I, I can start getting better at like paying attention to those emails of what the board's going to be talking about at their upcoming yeah. meetings and like checking in about um, attending. Well, you know what, Emma, you might be interested in, there's a group of people uh, and their focus is on like sustainability and the environment and the comprehensive plan update. And mm. I think they're I think they're having actually having a meeting tomorrow. I will send you the meeting information. And it might be something okay. that you would be interested in tuning into. Yeah, definitely. That would be awesome. Yeah. But you're right. Mm -hmm. It's hard to I was talking to Kim about that, that it's hard to really be on top of the things that we need to be paying attention to. Mm. And but it doesn't mean that we can't simply um, make a comment uh, on matters that the board isn't actually looking at at that moment and right. you know, advocate for certain positions. Yeah. So um, I just Definitely. I just have to figure out. I mean, for me, it's just going to be hard because of those Wednesdays. Yeah. Well, the e-comment opportunity is great. Like, yeah, I don't think it's as powerful as actually speaking at a board meeting in person. Uh, and so, yeah. The board meetings are hybrid, like the planning commission. So you guys can join through Zoom and be able to speak that way as well. So you, we can do that, but yep. Carolyn, do you, you have to be there right at six o'clock in order to make a comment, is that correct? That I'm not sure about. You'd have, you'd have to reach out to Claudette or Travis. I'm not sure how they do theirs. I know yeah. ours is a little um, less so you, formal for yeah. the planning commission. Um, like if you call, if you called into the planning commission and wanted to speak, all you have to do is raise your hand on the zoom call. And then I would let you speak for three minutes. Mm -hmm. 
I'm sure they let you speak for three minutes as well. Well, I shouldn't say that. I'm pretty certain that they let you speak for three minutes as well. Yeah. Just, um, I don't know how, how they work as far as when you have to be in the meeting. Yeah. Right. Okay. But wait, wait, wait. They'll ask you to fill out five questions and then call you to speak for three minutes. Yeah. It's at one o'clock and six o'clock sessions for public comment. Uh, this is what Nicole's telling me because she goes to those meetings where I don't. <laughs> so she said, there's a one o'clock and six o'clock session for public comments. They'll ask you to fill out a five, fill out five questions. Then they call you to speak for three minutes. So I'm assuming you're going to have to fill that out beforehand. Okay. Hope that helps. That's, yeah, that's it does help. Carolyn. Oh, wait. Nicole's writing something else. I'm going to just let, allow her to talk so she can tell you. Okay. Go ahead, okay. Nicole. The floor is yours. Nicole? Can you hear me now? Yes, yeah. we can. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was on the wrong audio device. Um, yeah, so there's a public comment, like a, uh, like Carolyn just said, there's a public comment session about one o'clock and six o'clock. Both of them you can zoom in uh, to the same way that people zoom into CACs. Um, generally, the actual public comment ends up being around like 120 to 130, but I would advise showing up early on the Zoom. Um, you can use the Zoom chat feature to let uh, Claudette, the clerk, know that you want to speak, and she'll send you those questions and put you on the sign up list right away. Nice. And that, oh, go ahead. And for the six o'clock meeting, you really have to be there, right? That comment prob that comment period probably ends by six thirty. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Those are relatively strict times. Yeah. Great. All right. Thank you. That is really helpful. Thank you, Nicole. Uh, of course. Yeah, I think. So, well, the thing is, we don't, we don't need to all be showing up and making comments, but we can have representatives show up from the NHC when we know that it's a topic that we have perspectives and opinions about. Yeah. It would be nice to go together, though. <laughs> you mean in person? Yeah, or, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess yeah. it, it's... Uh, why am I shy about that? I don't know, but uh, I don't know. I, I I don't need to be with other people if it's Zoom because yeah, you're, you you're still you know in your own world behind your camera. My dog can be with me if we're on Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> well, Emma, I think you should do it. I'm a hundred percent behind you. Well, well, like when it's coming up, you have to rem help remind me if there's things happening that we want to speak about or or yeah. show up and represent. Yeah, and I think we need to just put some thought into that. Yeah, know? well, I think that can be a committee, like a committee-wide effort. Because a lot of the people yeah. on the policy subcommittee, they probably know about things going on that I'm that are not a part of my world because I'm not, you know, working on different policies regarding, you know, yeah, development and all that stuff, so. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. It's cool. um, and also it can just be a general statement as well. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's recognizing, thanking the board for efforts that they have taken to protect biodiversity, and you know, just could even be speaking on behalf of one of the goals mm -hmm. in the back. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Right. Yeah. And just being that voice saying like, we, you know, we're encouraging that this be taken into consideration regarding your decisions or regarding and that, the project. Yeah, and, that, and that we care enough that we're going to take time out of our day to speak up about it. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Okay. And the last thing is the Walnut Creek constituents proposals. I have failed to connect you with Eliza. But I, I feel like that was the next step for us. 
Um, and yeah, I feel like for the most part, the ball is in their court to, you know, decide what they want to do. But I really enjoyed meeting with um, her and um, yeah, learning well, about the hopes that they have for the parks. Yeah, but make go ahead and put that on your to-do list. Yeah, to I got it on there. Send her out an email and then let's see if she, she will share her list of like her proposal that she sent. Because uh -huh. I think I would be really curious to see what she's got in there. Yeah, me too. And maybe, and I thought it was really interesting that she's out there pulling invasives Mm. And so, you know, maybe there's a possibility of, like, we've been talking about this model of uh, people in the community who have an interest in the park actually getting in there and doing things to make the park better. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, maybe, maybe we could get together one afternoon and pull invasives together as a group. Yeah. You know, yeah. like we could meet, that could be our meeting mm -hmm. is a little patch and we'll look at it and we'll pull as many of a certain type of invasive and you know share ideas and put up the no mo signs yeah that too exactly yeah yeah that sounds great i'd love to continue um moving forward on this yeah that sounds great and supporting this park yeah great well, I will follow up with Jim and Eliza. And um, we will both put a little time into the Instagram. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I'd love to do something with the Instagram. Like once we have all those graphics, it'd be so cool if there was like a calendar. We made it into a calendar that we could give away at you know, when we're, when we're at the parks or whatever, or I don't know, just yeah. have them available for people because nice. yeah. we put a lot of work into it and it would be nice to be able to share it, keep, keep the messages. Yeah, I really, I like that idea. Yeah. Unfortunately, what... unfortunately we, ha we, it sounds like we've had to <laughs> fund it ourselves. <laughs> yeah, we would probably have to fund it ourselves. Yeah. Right. Or maybe I could donate them to like a different organization that would want them. Yeah. That could use them to make their own calendars, like the Nature Conservancy or I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I think that would be great. And, uh, but it would be nice if you could like, yeah, because you know, it's like those 12 great tips. Mm -hmm. and they're all they've been distilled and mm -hmm. uh yeah that would be interesting to make it into the calendar yeah it'd be pretty fun you could be, be just like a small teeny tiny one like a small yeah. calendar yeah. yeah yeah well well we can think about it yeah look we got to finish them all first <laughs> yeah okay we'll go through the we'll go through the year and then see how they're yeah. turning out totally um, but okay, that was that was all of our agenda. Do you have anything else you wanted to touch on or? No, I don't. Not cool. at the moment. All right, we, now we just had to follow through with our to-do list. Yeah. <laughs> we got a month, we can yeah. do it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Emma, well, thank okay. you for the great meeting. All right, yeah. thanks to you guys at 5.30. All right. See you at 5.30. All right. Bye, Bye Carolyn. Bye. Bye, Christine. Bye-bye.